Hello and welcome to another video and a really exciting video. I'm all geared up, like literally. I've got my robes on. This is my box lunch robe. My cat's distracting me, just walking over all this stuff on the floor here. Um, Cause you know, this place becomes a nightmare after we film things. <laughs> um, but I feel like I'm dressed pretty appropriately for what is to come, which was a very unexpected video. And if you did not see, also welcome to a community that believes weird is wonderful and magic is real, okay? We are still that community. Um, but yeah, if you didn't see in the title, she's right over here. We got us, we got us a banger, you guys. Um, I also didn't take my cardigan off, real life, okay? Just ignore that. <laughs> um, we got us a banger of an item that was absolutely not planned at all. And it is much lighter, I will say, than I had anticipated. You guys, we got us a Nimbus 2000. And let me say it was unexpected because, well, for starters, let me get this back off the table. Um, it's a lot lighter than I thought, like a lot lighter. And he was like, who's my husband sitting here was like, what, how, how much, how heavy did you expect brooms to weigh? I don't know. I didn't know what material they made it out of, but um, yeah, apparently it is wood. And it's from Cine Replicas. I don't think I said that, but that would have been in the title. But just a little backstory. So we had previously had a discussion before there was this little announcement by Cine Replicas of what I asked him, what broom do you want to get first uh, out of the three that are available on the market? So there are three available on the market. There are two on Cine Replicas. I don't know if this one's still available, but it's the Nimbus 2000 and the Firebolt is what's available on Cine Replicas. Whereas on Noble Collection, the only two makers that I know of that make brooms, um, although I think there are some artists that do some, um, and I'd like to check them out. Actually, I think there's a wand maker I really like. Yeah, that German guy. I'll have to, I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll end up getting some stuff from him. Um, some of his custom wands. He makes incredible custom wands. But I think he moved into, I know, I know he moved into brooms. But anyway, um, Noble Collection has done the Nimbus 2001 and the Firebolt. Um, so the only one that they overlap on is the Firebolt. Um, and I will say our personal preference even though we haven't seen these in person and we're about to do that. Okay, we're gonna do an unboxing here, is Cine Replicas. And the reason that our personal preference is Cine Replicas is these are handmade. They're handmade out of, I mean, there might be some wood involved, I'm guessing, in Nova Collection. Um, shrug, we get a lot of details with Cine Replicas. It's very similar to, if you wanna check out Newt Scamander's suitcase, I got that for my birthday, that is handmade. They even have a video of an artisan talking about how it's, how it's made. That stuff matters to us. We love artistry. And so the fact that so much more in my opinion, effort and work goes into these in detail than just kind of resin. And I'm not meaning to like poo poo. I'm just saying out of the options, that's what our personal preference is. But I asked him, uh, what is the first broom you want to get? And he said the Firebolt. And for me, I think it was a while ago, back in Halloween time, I wanted to get the Nimbus 2001. Then <laughs> after dropping a good bit of coin on some things that you still have not seen yet, um, that cost a bit, we got this little email. Was it me that got the email? You got the email. <sighs> Uh, from Cine Replicas saying there are only a hundred left. Only a hundred left. Um, so he came to me w basically saying we need to order it. Because this was a limited edition. It's a limited 10, edition. 000. Yeah, only 10,000 are made. So we'll see what our number is, probably further along. <laughs> I don't really care for like, it doesn't need to be number one or anything like that, but it would be kind of cool if it was a cool number. Um, but we just don't need to be in the first. So anyway, we had to get our paws on it. I wasn't expecting to drop, what is she? Close to $500? Yeah, I think it is $4.99. I think it's $4.99. So it, it is also, I believe, more costly than Noble Collection. So if you can't afford quite the higher uh, ticket price on Cine Replicas, then then that's fair, you know? But I, I personally am willing to invest more money um, on something that has more detail. So let's get into it. Um, and show you what kind of detail Cine Replicas um, puts in. And just a little shout out to Cine Replicas. Can you please not be doing the last 100 of the Firebolt? Cause we're gonna have to drop coin on that. And we're not ready for that. We weren't ready for this, okay? So hold your horses, please, okay? <laughs> One broom at a time. I will say it's really fitting um, and kind of ironic that the first broom we get is the Nimbus 2000 because you know, her storyline, that is the first one to appear. 
So we've got our box right here. We're getting ready for the unboxing. What did you see on the outside that it said? Oh. Um, it said something about a display of some oh, kind. Yeah, contains. contains what? Uh, one Nimbus 2000 replica display frame and plaque. So I know, I think I know what the plaque is, but I don't really know what the display frame is. Um, but we're gonna find out. I don't normally do videos that are just one item, but she's a pretty special item, okay? I feel in inducted into the wizarding world now, officially. Um, even though I have yet to have official robes. That's right, I don't have any robes. This is my, this is my like sweatshirt kind of robe. It is a robe, but it's not quite the same, but we will get there. So I do need a pair of scissors and we're gonna give you all the angles. So let's do that. Are you ready? Let's open it up and see what's inside. We have styrofoam. Ooh, ah, uh, it's very thick. This is a very thick cardboard. Oh my God. What have we got, you guys? I'm so excited. Look at it. Ooh, I love the packaging. Are we getting these angles? Look at it, you guys. So first up, it looks like we get um, this sheet right here, which appears to be um, that was the French, I believe, <laughs> side. Here are the English instructions for how to put the darn thing together. I do believe it's pretty simple, but I will probably have to take a look at this. Um, and we have composition. Bristle is weeping willow wood and the handle is mahogany. I'm assuming it's actually, one would hope so. Again, this is why we're paying that coin. Um, and there's directions on how to clean. Uh, and what not to use on it. So that's really good to know. And this, uh, let's see, scaled reproduction of Nimbus 2000 as seen in Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Accompanying your broomstick in this new edition, you will also find your numbered metal plate certificate. I think that might be what is down here in this pocket. Am I right? Oh, look at the packaging. How cute is that? So we have, that is, that's gotta be the metal plate. Um, what's on it? So it's paper packaging. We've got Quidditch, Hogwarts. So this is what the metal plate comes in. Guess your number down below. Uh, we were thinking of getting lottery tickets. So maybe whatever's on this sucker is what we play. I don't know. Is it gold? It is. Here is the metal plate. Sorry for the overexposure there. It is a gold plate. It says, Certificate of Authenticity, Nimbus 2000, limited to 10,000 pieces worldwide. This handmade masterpiece is numbered 7,333. I was hoping like a page 394 sort of thing. I don't know. And then it's like a velvety back. I don't know where we'll be putting that, um, but yeah, nice quality. So that's what was in that spot. Let's get into this broom. Look at the packaging here. Oh my God. I really, I feel like the owls just dropped it right in front of me. Okay, so I think this comes off first. Very nice packaging. Um, cut to fit it perfectly. Okay, we wanna be fragile. What comes off first? So here's what we're looking at. The broom itself is wrapped up. And maybe you can see that bit down there, which is the handle. This? All right, so we're gonna lift this up. I do need a little bit of an angle here. Well, actually, let's just take the whole thing out. So it comes out like that. I'll give you another angle once we're, we'll be sit, sat back down. Excuse me, how do we get this out of here? I'm just going to turn it like that. So here is our a room base. Look at that. And the same wrapping. We'll unwrap it at the desk here. And then what I believe, which is right on the bottom there, is our handle. It is also wrapped. I do appreciate the wrapping. It both feels like, with it wrapped, it feels like very in-world and the way these things arrived because Harry's was wrapped. It didn't have all of this kind of like it has like a newspaper -y vibe, but also it being wrapped helps protect it. So it's a two pronged situation and I really like that. Honestly, this is the heavier part of the two, which makes sense. So here is the broom handle. Let's keep it in frame. Uh, I think we're gonna unwrap this one first. So the string is at the end here. It looks like with these strings, you don't have to cut them or anything. You can just pull on it and 
unwrap this sucker. And it is wrapped all the way around. So let's pull it off. Very cool. It also feels more like a present this way. Okay, are you excited? Is this the mahogany part? Yeah, the handle was mahogany. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Ooh, ooh, look at it. Oh, you know, I was looking at it and I was like, oh, there's like the little nicks and everything, but that's the intentional part. I see. Oh, very cool. So just like the film and the book, we have Nimbus 2000 on the end. Look at that mahogany color. I love it. It's got that nice um, red brown going for it. So that's the end of it. Here's the whole handle in that, you know, it's not a straight form broom. And then the very end has this kind of like gold notch. And I believe this is gonna end up screwing into the other piece. So we have that right there. Very cool. So what I notice, it has a nice gloss over top um, to protect it. It is in that yellow font, but I noticed these kind of like scratches, but you can tell it's intentional. It's throughout the whole thing. I mean, these things are used. Um, so you want it to feel lived in and in world. So there is the handle, you guys. We will put it together in a hot second, but let's pull out the base of the broom, the broom itself. Oh, I'm so excited. So here she is. First, we can see the broom. I was gonna call it a kickstand. It kind of is. The broom stand is a golden color as it would be for a replica. I think I saw something on it. Oh, we've got the, the copyright info and center replicas. Um, it's just on the base. So the part that you wouldn't see that'd be touching the ground. So it looks like the tie is down here. Let's pull it somewhere. Where's your end bit? That wasn't it, but that works. Undo it. So it's over the whole thing. And then we have another little thread right there. Okay. How is the best way to do this? <laughs> oh my goodness. This is so exciting. This is the willow part as far as wood goes. Are you ready? Um, oh, it's got a wood smell. Oh, that smells nice. Oh. <laughs> I'm just gonna hug it. Did anybody hug trees growing up? I did. Okay. okay. Look at this gorgeousness. Oh my God. So we're thinking that when it's a display stand, it's probably meaning this piece right here. Um, but let's look at the piece de resistance, the broom itself. Look at this, you guys, how gorgeous. Um, so you can really see like each individual twig uh, from the willow tree, which is one of my favorite trees. It is my favorite tree, actually. I like the sadness of it. It's really sweet. So you got these three little metal rungs in gold like we see, but let me give you the full shebang of this broom comes really beautifully to a point. And here is what the end bit looks like, just so you can see close up for anybody considering. I mean, this is like two, uh, $200. <laughs> if only this is $500. So you wanna be spending your money knowing what you're getting. And I'm here to review. I'm also here to get myself, myself, myself a broom. So let's set it down. Oh, and it even says our number on the broom. Very interesting. Um, so let's read our directions. Insert handle with Nimbus 2000 logo facing front side. I guess what's technically the front side. All right, we turned it in clockwise. It is now secure and it says, extend the kickstand perpendicular to the broom to display on a solid surface. So just to highlight what I mean about craftsmanship, this is what it says on the instructions. This Nimbus 2000 has been handcrafted using natural materials. There can be some irregularities such as flaking of the barks or color deviation on the bristles. These specificities are an integral part of the broom and cannot be considered a defect. Um, and honestly, they they make it more accurate because that's what brooms are. <laughs> they have natural occurrences. I already mentioned uh, the composition, but it does say how to clean it, but it also says this broom is not a toy and it doesn't fly. How dare you send replicas? I think they have to put that in there for, you know. <laughs> 
no lawsuits of any kind. So let's take a closer look at this broom. Um, it's so cool. We've got our base down here. One thing that I was curious about that you don't really know, um, look, just looking at an image online, is I was kind of thinking, did they, is the entirety of it the willow, like, uh, is the entirety of it this? And I can tell it is not. Meaning like, is every, is the whole thing made of like strip after strip after strip? I can actually see the base underneath at which it's attached to. So they probably need like a structure of some kind. It's probably gonna be really hard for me to show you, but in between each, I can see what almost appears like um, cardboard or something. And it's, you know, probably there to make it easier to be close to the same as possible because these are handcrafted. Whenever you get a handcrafted item, it's gonna also deviate a little bit. Um, but I personally love handcrafted items. So we've got our um, display. I will say this easily comes out. I just turned it on accident. Um, so keep that in mind. I know some people who have these will take them out when they're cosplaying. So you wanna be careful of that. Um, and we were kind of curious if it needed a screw of any kind as you just saw, it did not. So you guys, I have myself, I feel like hopping on it right now and, and, and testing it, but I have myself the Nimbus 2000. Not the 2001, not the Firebolt. Those are coming eventually, but Cine replicas, not yet. Not yet, my friends. So let me set this aside because I have one more thing for you guys, which is really fitting because if you recall, the Nimbus 2000 is delivered by some owls during owl post time. And you guys, I got myself some owl posts. Um, I have one piece and I'm gonna unbox it right here, right now. Oh, Miles head. So, like I said, we got ourselves some owl post, and that owl post is from, hold on, let me make sure I'm blocking the address, Miss Acromantula, um, who is in the Discord group. Thank you so much. I'm really excited. I have no idea what to expect. Um, this is my P.O. Box address, so it's always in the description if anybody's interested. No pressure, no obligation. All right, she said something about bits and bobbles are in here. I do like me some bits and bobbles. Look at that blue, Get some Ravenclaw action. I have a card. Oh, I have an opportunity to redeem myself right now, okay? Because we have Mr. Crookshanks. I did know this, okay? If you did not see the Universal Hall, I misappropriated. I misappropriated Crookshanks, okay? But we have got some Crookshanks here. I do love me some Crookshanks. Um, but I will say somebody in the Discord did say that they tend to think of cats as female. I kind of do too, even though I had a male cat. So let me check inside. I don't want to ruin the sticker. Oh, she used um, the wizarding trunk. I can't show it to you, but I could attach the video. There was a wizarding trunk video and it came with, hold on. It came in this box here. There was, I've already taken it out. I did keep it. Um, it came with some paper, um, paper products to write on. So let me read this real quick. Yes, I wanna make note that she is a fellow Oregonian. Oh, I really like this. I feel like I could read this part. Um, she said, well, I hope many more people discover, discover, can I say it right? <laughs> um, uh, well, hold on. Well, I hope many more people discover you and your subscribers grow. grow. Remember, it is the quality of one's convictions that determines success, not the number of followers. <laughs> Remus Lupin, she put. <laughs> I love it so much. Ooh, we got a Deathly Hallows symbol. Ah! Thank you so much for your letter. Uh, I forgot that it's replicated on the other side, so I'm not showing any words, but this is the paper from the Wizarding Trunk that she wrote on. So cute. Ooh, I'm so excited. So what do we got in here? I'm gonna hold it up. Lots of blue. I don't have a lot of Ravenclaw representation in my house because um, we have a Gryffindor with a side of Slytherin and you're just a full on Hufflepuff, right? No sides for you? Yeah. So let's bring it on. Ooh, what are you? We've got individually wrapped things. I'm excited. What is this? Ooh, what is in here, ma'am? I see it says Snape and Lily inspired art print. Are you trying to bring on the tears right now? Wait, are there more than one? So this is what I'm looking at. What? I have been looking at this artist. I have been looking at this artist's stuff. Um, I'm pretty sure I know uh, the Etsy shop for this page. So here is the first one. So it's on canvas. So cool. It's Snape 
in his potions master's office. See if it has his desk right there. I do, I'm a sucker for like very, um, like just light, like yellow um, playing. If you've seen my Diagon Alley print, which is also canvas, then you'll know what I mean. I just love me some yellow. I love that. Lumos, what's next? Who's that? <gasps> is this Snape again? Oh, we get some Snapey actions. Look at that greenery looking outside. So cute. I love these. And I saw Lily on the thing. Are we getting like, oh, we are. Okay. Um, and we're getting the kind of, it looks like it's maybe that tree. Look at how pretty. And then we have the two of them. I think when they're young, it seems like it looks like when they're young. Very cute. She knows. I think everybody knows at this point that Snape is one of my favorite characters. I mean, the more I read the books, the more he's becoming. I mean, he's close to number one. He's always been close to number one, as is Dumbledore. Um, I think this one's my favorite, but I love them all. I love the colors. Um, I, I just love the, excuse me, the light. Also, canvas is a very durable option, so it's going to last longer. Very cool. Thank you so much. I love me some print. Ooh, oh, there's like glittery bits. So this is item two. It feels very fabric-y. What'd you do to me, ma'am? Oh my God, is it a tote? I'm like a tote collector. I'm a little bit like my coffee mugs. I see a handle. Oh, shut up. I'm gonna cry. It is flourish and blots. Ah, oh, ma'am, this is so cute. Where did you get this? It is a tote bag. It's pretty durable too. Um, it's like not one of those like really thin flimsy ones. And it says flourish and blots. Booksellers, Diagon Alley, London. How cool is this? There's so many things in here. Okay. Is this another tote bag? We have another blue bag. Let me make sure to show it to you. Oh, ah! I have another tote bag. It is the three broomsticks. I love usable items. I'll be using the heck out of this. So the three broomsticks, butterbeer, fire whiskey, says Hogsmeade um, right there. And then it says Tavern and Inn Hogsmeade at the bottom. And just like the other one, so they are the same size. Girl, do let me know where you got these so I could be linking them down below. Um, the other side has the same print. Oh, these are gonna last me a while. I really like it. What is going on? We've got a white box. I'm so excited. You guys are the freaking best. What is in here? <gasps> I was looking at this pin. I was looking at this pin. I forgot who the maker is. Um, I think it was on Etsy. You are so sweet. It is, let me take it out of the kind of fabric that it's on. You guys, getting me with the Lumos right now. Uh, it is a pin, like I said, that I have been looking at, I believe on Etsy. It's got a little hand that says Lumos because our channel is called Love and Lumos. You're sending me the Lumos merch, you guys. Uh, oh my God, that's so sweet. I love it. And then there's another in here, which looks to be, I do love this um, potion. It's probably one of my favorites because I, I need some luck on my side. And it is liquid luck. I would love, again, I would love to know um, where everything is so I can link it all down below. But we have got a Felix Felicis liquid luck potion it has a little kind of charm on which i think it says it right there yeah felix felicis and then on the back it is a pin how freaking cute i've got me some luck and some lumos i've got a bag oh she's just encouraging the shopping i'll tell you what with those bags we've got more like almost jewelry like boxes we've got a black box what's in it they keep that blue going oh she got me earrings I've got, sorry, some polyjuice potion earrings. How cute. I may or may not have quite the collection of earrings, but I was looking at my earrings and I'm like, I don't think I have enough like Harry Potter specific earrings, but now I have some polyjuice potion earrings. I don't know, maybe you made these too. I would not be surprised. The, the individuals, the magical individuals in the Discord group are some talented individuals, okay? Um, so if you've made them, if you have a shop, I wanna know. I just wanna know where these things are from, okay? 
I'm happy to be adding some Harry Potter earrings. We have another box. It's still going. Oh my God. Oh, more earrings. I love jewelry. I did not used to be a jewelry person until I started to wear jewelry that I liked. And we have got, I don't have a lot of um, love potion stuff. Look at that love potion or amortensia. Am amortensia, did I pronounce that properly? But it says love potion on there. It's that pretty pink. Very cute. I love it. There is another box. I'm loving the blue theme. You are spoiling me rotten. Should we show everybody else? What is this? Ooh, what is this? I don't know what it is. Let's find out. Let's open this sucker. Holy stickers, Batman. Oh yes. Oh, I love me some stickers. Inside that little box, we have all of these kind of like represent, like magical representations. Look at Hagrid's lantern. Oh, I love it. And there's a few, so I can use them in different spots. Oh God, I'm just dropping it everywhere. I love the color palette of all of these stickers too. I love a good natural color palette. We got a scroll, we got a flying key, a cauldron, what? We got a broom. Did I say a broom? I meant a quill and a book and an envelope. Oh my goodness. Look at that, that could be the diary. We've got like a potion and a little owl with a sorting hat. And then we have these bigger ones. Oh, these are funny. We have, wait, what are these? Are these like, what is happening here? This feels like something that the Weasley twins would do. And then we have the Quidditch, um, I don't know, situation, the Quidditch bells, the cauldron, Gilderoy Lockhart book. Ooh, I've got some Studio Ghibli in here. Look at that. I wanna know, do you say Ghibli or Ghibli? Um, so we've got Totoro. I haven't seen all the Studio Ghibli stuff, um, but Totoro is one that I've seen and I love it very, very much. Thank you so much. I do love me some stickers. There's so many places and uses for stickers. You can't go wrong. What is in here? Oh, oh, I was looking at this. Wait, where did I see this? Look at how cute. Happy birthday, Harry. How cute. I saw, so there's like, I've seen some like Japanese merch. That's obviously a little harder to get our hands on over here in the States that have done something like this. It's a keychain. You guys, it is the cake. It's fluffy and it's a keychain. So it opens up and you can put things in it. I've seen so many varieties of these. I think um, I think Charmed Aroma is coming out with one, but it's not soft. I really like soft things. This is so cute. I love it and I'm contemplating. Let me know in the comments down below. So I'm going to LeakyCon in July and the day that I'm going is the day after my birthday. And so I had contemplated being kind of just Harry Potter themed with some like accentuations of happy birthday cake kind of stuff. Um, so this could go with that. I don't know. Tell me, what should I do? And we've got, I think, one last item in here. Let me make sure. So many items. These were definitely bits and bobs, and I'm loving them. What is this? I'm trying to give her a feel. I have no idea. Wait. What are you? Oh, my God. She got me a stitch thing. How cute. All right, we're going up brand for a hot second. Bear with me. If you're not following the Beyond channel, I have a second channel that gets into anything that's not Harry Potter. We do vlogs. We are doing quite a bit of hauls. We are um, renovating basically a Disney room and I'm a big stitch collector. And I love the Feed Me series. I have quite a few. I don't have all of them. This is the new series. It's a mystery. Let's see what we got, ma'am. Let's see what we got. What stitch did we get? Oh, we got us a laying down stitch. Not a snitch, a stitch. <laughs> Thank you so much. I love mystery items, they're so fun. This was so fun and so sweet and thoughtful. I'm gonna be using all of this. Um, that's gonna now go in my Disney room. Um, I'm gonna be using these bags on the regular. We are probably gonna do a vlog where I'm gonna be stickerifying some things. So now I've got even more stickers. I've got more jewelry. I am so excited. 
I feel really grateful. I just feel really grateful to know, get, to be getting to know some really amazing people. If you're not in the Discord group and you want to get to know other people that are similar, that love Harry Potter, um, that love to love things, then come join us. Um, but mostly, thank you so much, Miss Acromantula. Um, it means a lot to me what you said in the card. I mean, just the card alone is enough. It means a lot to me and I'm really appreciative. So. I hope you guys um, enjoyed this video, enjoyed what was our first broom, a very unexpected broom. Let me know in those comments if you already got that broom and how you displayed it and all that sort of thing. Um, and thank you so much again, Miss Acromangela, for this lovely owl post. But until next time, my magical friends, remember to love what you love. I was gonna say Lumos. Put some Lumos in the world, Rottler and love what you love with everything you have and keep making magic. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.